Okay, so I have a few things that came in here today, and I've decided to take like the second part of the Black Friday haul and the January haul and kind of mash them together because it ended up being like a lot of things didn't actually show up in Je in December. They're showing up in January. So it's just going to forget about part two. There will be no part two of the Black Friday haul. It's just going to go straight into January. So I have here Avalon and Ninth. This is the um, mystery sub. I've got Happy Day, and I've got my some little things. So I will start with... Avalon and Nines. I got my big fluffy sweatshirt on because it's cold. Um, washi. Let me go ahead and open it now and get it rolled out for you. So this sub, I did make some changes to it. I added on the journaling kit, the functional journaling kit, and then I'm going to kind of reevaluate and decide what I need and what I don't need. The problem I have is I want everything because I love everything, but I'm not using it all. And so it seems like an awful big waste. And not that I have any problem paying for stuff when I'm using it and it's something that I really love and I want, um, but it does start to get a little pricey when you have multiple subscriptions. And uh, so I thought maybe I might wanna bump down one of these subscriptions, maybe the functional to the smaller functional, because now in the last video that I saw from Avalon and Ninth, she has, I think, three different functional sub options. So I might bump it down to the smaller one because I really love, oh, this is pretty. I really love the functional uh, bundles. I really do. But I, to be 100% honest, I don't use them as much as I probably could. I mean, I could do entire spreads of, with just these functionals alone and not even have anything else to go with it. But I just don't do that. I tend to just pull the functionals out when I need something to fill in a smaller kit on like a no white space spread. And that's just not enough. I mean, you've seen my, my Avalon and Ninth book is out of control. Like I have so much in there and I have absolutely no desire to get rid of any of it but maybe cut back a little bit. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, when she opens everything back up, I might make some changes to it. Haven't decided yet, but in the meantime, this is gorgeous. The color combination is absolutely beautiful. Uh, I am a sucker for anything orange. So once you get the orange and then that dark navy blue together, sorry, I cannot get this apart. I am having like the biggest struggles ever right now. Um, when you put those two colors together, I'm like, I'm in, I'm in with both feet. I love it. This is interesting pattern on this washi. Okay, so here are the two washi rolls that go with this, mystery, this month's, month's mystery sub. And hopefully, let me see if I can get it to behave there. It's got a really pretty gold in there and then here it is up close and personal so there's the two washies and then i'm going to move into the artwork part so this is the mystery sub itself and then there's the functional and then there's the journaling functional so numbers squiggles and b6 washi which these are going to start coming in handy as soon as my task planner gets here which i did get shipment confirmation but no tracking yet so hopefully it'll be here soon and so i can start playing with that then you have your nine full boxes love this love 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 so this is very much art museum themed it's beautiful and I am a sucker for an art museum. This is something like that paint a dream one. I was kind of like, oh, I don't know when I would use that. This I would definitely use. We used to go all the time when I lived in California. We would just take a trip down to LA and go to the museums. So Museum of Science, Museum of Art. We went to all the things. Unfortunately, there isn't a whole lot of that where I am right now. But Seattle is not that far away. So this is definitely a possibility. But I like that washi. That's really cool. I like the little busts and the check boxes. Uh, your dates and your glitter and then your patterns so you guys know that this has changed I don't know why I keep turning it you can see like this um, this has changed up quite a bit like the the format and so far I really like it I have no complaints whatsoever and then you get a whole nother nine set of boxes so you can do more than one spread like I said this is gonna come in really handy when I get my task planner and then, oh, I'm trying to figure out what that noise was. It's my dog. He right now, oh, there's more checkboxes. I didn't notice that in your, your deco. Um, he's chewing on a toy right behind me. A whole another set of washi and your strips. So gorgeous, love it, very excited. No, I'm, I know for a fact I will be able to use this one. And we're going back to uh, Boston in May. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna hit up some of the museums there as well. Um, then the functionals, look at the colors. Tell me those are not just absolutely gorgeous. Just gorgeous colors. Oh, I love it. Love, love, love. So, 
let's start with the big one. So this is the big functional, and you get your squiggle boxes. I'm gonna bring it up. You get your smaller post-it notes, two of your larger post-it notes, and then you get dividers, and I like these, these are really cool. And then you get your little headers, which I love. But these ones, I don't know what to call them, but they're really handy for writing, so having something big in here and then like a time or something up there. Uh, and then the smaller squiggly boxes or doodle boxes as they're called in my shop. And then your solid colors, which I think this will all have just solid colors in it. I don't think any of these have any patterns. At least I've never seen them with patterns. Look at those date covers. Oh, orange. This is going to be one of my favorite uh, functional bundles to use. And then your... I love that these don't have anything in them now, so you can use them as check boxes for other things besides Monday through Friday. Good job. Because you got these smaller ones if you want to track one thing in particular, and that's much better for me because I can do what I want over there. So that is the big functional. And with the big functional, now I added on the journaling kit functional. So this is new to me, and I did see her do the unboxing of it. Oh, okay, if I could open it. Here we go. Okay, so page one, which is beautiful. Page two, page three. There's a lot of pages in this journaling functional. This right here is my favorite page. I love this page. Love, love, love. I would love a whole page of all of these in that color right there. And then another one of these ones, which was also in the functional. So you have two of these, which is fantastic. So that is my monthly sub from Avalon and Ninth. And as always, it is absolutely fantastic. Love, love, love it. Thank you, Amanda. You are fabulous. Next up is, let's do Happy Day. I haven't seen Happy Day in a while. I know she had some website issues and then there were some resubscription issues and now it's turned into a bi-monthly instead of a monthly. So I don't know. I just, I'm just happy when it shows up. <laughs> that's just, that's just me. Just happy when it gets here. So the washi this month, I don't even think I need to roll this out because it's just some little flowers and I will roll it out on the actual sheet so I know which one goes with it. Um, but these are some cute little flowers and it's a smaller, like skinnier one. Let's see if I can do this. There. Cute little flowers. So that is this one. Maybe if I hold it really still, you can see it. That's that. And then it comes inside of like this little protective case. And when you go, oh, oh, how cute. They're little slippers. Oh, yes. I love those. Love, love, love those. Okay. Put this off to the side. Uh, Self-love. That's what this one is called. So you get this little sleeve, which has some foiled stickers in it. This one is need a break from everything. This is really cool. This is like a purpose fuels passion, like her little positive affirmations and self-care stuff. Then this one is all the deco, but it is a gold foiled deco. Really cute. And then the kit itself, I get the vertical. It's a couple different options. You could get a washi sub. There's a bunch of different options. Um, this is just the one that works best for me. All right, let's do it like this. I'm going to put all of the foiled stuff together and then the non-foiled in the back. So you get a few sheets of foiled with your weekend banner and your washies, a couple different washies and your Monday through Fridays and some deco. These are all dividers. And like I said, these are gold foiled. Then your full boxes with some more dividers in the middle. That's adorable. Take yourself out to eat. <laughs> These are so cute. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I love this. This is adorable. Definitely going to use this. Oh, these are little ones. There's a couple little ones in here. They were kind of stuffed in the middle. Some lar larger pattern boxes, some smaller Monday through Fridays, your little to-dos todays and some more. These are all dividers. And then I love that. That's cute. And then you get a bunch that are not, that don't have any coating on them. So these other ones are kind of have like a coating where you need a special pen to write on them. And then these are just regular um, sticker paper. So you can, you can tell the difference, like the vibrancy and the color is, is way different, but these ones are much easier to write on. So you've got your half boxes. Quarter boxes, more deco, lots of deco. 
these are all your, these ones are the ones I use for work right here to signify my work schedule, which usually there's more of them. I only see two. Usually she has more of these. So I think she did some things where she changed some stuff up, but it's okay. And then I love this sheet. Love, love, love this sheet. She always has lots of little decos down here and then a whole bunch of icons up here. And then you have a whole nother set of washi weekend and date covers. So that is, this one is called Self Love. And this is a monthly subscription from Happy Daya. It's really cute and I love this pin. Uh, not pin, uh, clip. This is going to look really cute on my bag. Getting quite the collection on my backpack. So put that one off to the side and now we're going to work on uh, some little things. You can already tell what this is right up there at the top. So cute. So, so cute. And the, the thing is like, obviously, this is not my generation. This is my kids' generation. And when we, whenever we would go to the mall, um, there was one of these shops in the mall, the Serrano Surprise, and we would, and it was always like a thing where we had to go in there and they had to get something, something. <gasps> Welcome to Misfits Crew. I think they made some changes. This is really cute. I think they made some changes this month. So I'm going to, it's hard for me to tell what the changes are. Oh my goodness, this is adorable. So I'm going to have to kind of wing it and go through it. Actually, yeah, they did make many, many changes. So there's a notepad. I'm going to open it. I'm just going to open everything. Sorry. I'm, I get confused when people make changes and I'm not sure what's going on. <laughs> what's going on? Anyway, here is your notepad and it is adorable. They all have ice cream. Look at Hello Kitty ice cream. I don't remember all their names because, um, like I said, this was my kids. And we always went in there and they always got their little baskets with that were always like done up so cute. Um, and that was like a little special thing whenever they went to the mall. Then this one is, what is this? Oh, it's a little mini planner. How cute is that? It's a little mini planner. This is probably like B6 size, I'll bet. Mm, let's see. I'll bet ya. I don't think I have an empty B6 cover sitting here anywhere or else I would test it out for you, but I don't. Everything I have has something in it right now because my B6 planner cover, I'm actually gonna have kits in it. This is my this is the B6. Yep, it is. Okay. So this has actual, like it holds one of those things. This is a Villa Beautiful. So if you are looking for B6 covers, this is a Villa Beautiful and it's got the, the rings. So you can put something like this into one of these. See the size wise it will fit. But for right now, I have one of these in here, which I also got at Villa Beautiful. And it goes into one of these planners, you see. And that just holds all of my kits in it. Or some of my, like, a very small portion of my kits. I have a crap ton of them over here on the shelf. But that's what that's being used for right now. But that's what be, so this is definitely B6 size. But that is so cute. It's got your Monday. I wonder if these are 1.5. I'll bet you they are since it's a B6. So it's a little planner with an adorable cover. I love that. Love, 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 love. Okay, in here should be the kit itself. I get the vertical. These are, oh, no, no, oh my gosh, yes, look at, no, no, I had to buy another printer, don't ask, it's been one of those kind of weeks, um, yeah, but that printer is now naked, also had to buy another cutting machine, which is also naked, so this is perfect timing, because these are going to go on those, they're adorable, and then it comes protected with this cardboard, um, and then here's the kit itself. Uh, I wish, I, I know his name, it's like right on the tip of my tongue, but that was my daughter's favorite, was that little frog. That's my favorite. I, I always like that like dark moody looking bird whenever we went in there. Weekend banner and these are dividers. Days of the week. Usually you get a washi, like a longer sheet with washi, but I think they changed that up now. So as far as washi is concerned, you'll have to actually use the rolls of washi, which there are plenty of. So this is your colorway with all your functional boxes. So that is the kit. Let me see what's called Little Onesies Party, but yeah, it's Serrano Surprise. You know what it is. So there's that. And then there's all these washies, which I do have a sheet here. 
that we can roll them out on if I can get them undone in a timely fashion. But this one's really cute. This has, looks like gold foil speckles all over it. I don't know what to call it. It's like a little confetti, but very light, very, very light. I'm gonna roll this guy out. Oh, that's so cute. There's one. And then this one, oh, this one's super bright. I love it when the washi comes out really bright. Just something I haven't quite figured out yet. I think it's because I'm using the wrong, I do everything on my, my iPad and I think I'm using the wrong um, color profile. So, but we're, we're learning, it's getting better. It's definitely better than the last time I, I ordered washi this time, but still, I still have a ways to go before I get it exactly the way I want it. But there's that one, which is adorable. And then this one is a smaller one. Oh, this one has a little mice on it. I can't get it open. It's got like a weird wrapping on it. Hold on. And this one also has gold foil stars, which you'll be able to see all this when I pick it up. I know I'm really far away from the camera right now, but these are really cute. So I like the changes. She said she was going to make some changes like where you were going to get more stickers and more stuff, um, but the price, the price wasn't going to change. Like you weren't going to get charged more. And then the last one is this really cute little skinny, like a neutral colored one, and it's got gold hearts on it, which I love these little skinny washies because I like using them as dividers, especially when your kits are so small and I'm a no white space planner. Washi comes in very, very handy to fill in all those extra spaces. Um, yeah. At some point, I'm going to find an edge. There it is. And it's a hollow. This is a gold hollow. So let me lift it so you can see it. There they are. Really cute. Hopefully you can see all the foils, but how pretty is that? I love those. Those are super cute. So that is everything I have for this portion of the haul. And I will be back in just a few minutes with the next part. I have here an order from Hubman and Chub Girl. So I don't remember exactly when I ordered this, but <laughs> I have things that come kind of... I'm not even sure what I ordered and I don't see, maybe there's a receipt in here somewhere that will remind me what I got. But anyway, it doesn't matter because I love everything that I ordered, I'm sure. I just can't remember exactly what it was or when I ordered this. I don't know. Anyway, this one is the winter bundle. I do remember ordering the winter bundle because I thought it was freaking adorable. So I'll pull this one out and then we can go through the winter bundle. And then I think I ordered a mystery pack and something else. I'm not sure. So this winter bundle came with a couple of washies and then everything that you see here. So I will open these up. Oh my gosh, so cute. So I'm really scatterbrained today. It's actually the day after Christmas, and I got up super early to put mail out in the mailbox um, because the weather's been really poopy, and I just didn't want to put it out there until it was closer to when the mailman comes because I my mail my mailbox needs to be replaced, so I'm worried about it leaking and getting my mail wet. So I wait until like he's almost here to put the mail out and the little stinker got here super early today. So I completely missed him. So hubby's rubbing, running, rubbing. He's running out to the post office right now for me to drop off a bunch of packages that I had to send. And, but this was in there, so happy. Um, this is the kind of foil that has that um, like sparkly overlay on it. So it's kind of a pain in the neck to open. So I use my sticker lifter and I can easily lift it. I'm going to put it on, let's see, I brought a piece of paper so I can roll it out for you. I doubt you'll be able to see the sparkle, but you can see the pattern. Let's see if you can see the sparkle. It's really cute here. Mm, I don't think you can, but either way. Oh, both of them are sparkly. This one's cute too. So this whole little collection here is called Cozy Winter. She's always got something new coming out, like lots and lots of new releases. There was a cat one that came out not too long ago, and I think that was part of like, I know I got it, so it was part of the monthly subscription. And then there's another one I think that's got dogs this month. Super cute. I'm a dog person, so that. That one I'm probably going to, I mean, I like them both. I think the cat one is really cute too, but I'll be super happy with the dog one. 
And then I also ordered, um, but I, I don't think it's in this order. So yeah, I'm actually positive it's not in this order. But I, I did pick up some of the meme, like e they're little icons, but they're you you make them yourself. So they're supposed to be characters that you created uh, through her shop. But I think since they're very very custom, it takes a little while for them to come because you get to pick everything from hairstyle, color, facial expression, clothing. You get to pick a lot of the, there it is, super cute. A lot of the details. So I got some made of like little characters that are supposed to be me and, and then some that are supposed to be my husband. So those are coming as well. I was hoping that was gonna be this order. So this one is the gratitude prompts in the winter theme. Trying to, it's kind of semi glossy, so it's I'm trying to hold it so that you can read it without the glare. But those are what came with that, and then make my little trash pile. Then this is everything in the bundle. Yeah. Oh, this is tight. Hold on. Okay. So on the back side, there's these little. Can you see them? Hopefully you can see them okay. These little dot characters. And then this one is foiled. I love the little coffees. I'm a sucker for coffee. Let me just take the cardboard out. And then this one. Oh, how cute. So this one has that sparkly, sparkly overlay. These are so cute. Look at this one. Each one of these little characters comes off and they're foiled. And then this is a little washi sampler, the whole bunch of washies on here. And then some like note boxes, coffee cups, the holographic overlay. Then let's get into the, there's a sticker kit. So we have, <laughs> look how cute he's skiing. That's oh, adorable. Like little winter animals. That's cute. I love the little hats and the slippers. My favorite. Lots of cozy coffees. Oh, that's cute. I like the candles. This is like comfort stuff. Pillows and blankets and all the cozy winter things. And then the bigger versions of the same stickers that you saw. Oh, there. And the smaller one. There's several of those. And then there's like a little um, kit. So here's... Here, I'll do it like that. You can see it that way. So... This one is really, I love using these kits in my plum planner because I can like decorate around it with all like these little, like all the little stuff. My voice is horrible today. I'm sorry guys. Like I am like having, I'm struggling, struggling today. It's the weather has been weird and then I had to work last night on Christmas and it was busy and it's just, you know, but this is good. This is happy mail. So this makes me happy. Die cuts. One. Two, three. Oh my gosh, I love this one. Little fuzzy puppy. And then little igloo bear. That was my mom. My mother's texting me. And then there's this, which has... This is the journaling pack for Hello December. I'm not sure. How cute. So this is like a winter journaling pack. I don't, I, since there's no card receipt in here, I'm not sure what I ordered, but I love their journaling packs, obviously, because I'm subscribed to their monthly journaling. How adorable. So it's basically all, I got a whole bunch of the same stickers. So I got like double, double the stickers. And it comes in this little pack. And then this, I think, is the mystery. But I'm not sure. So the winter mystery pack has like older stuff. So from older kits, probably like extra stock. I don't think there's anything wrong with them because it didn't say anything about being oops. I think it's just from other holidays. So this is, oh wait, this is my, this is my thing. These are my characters. I'm like, hey, that kind of looks like what I made. This is what I made. So this is, <laughs> so this one is the character that I created um, and it's with the Christmas stuff. And I got a couple of them. And then this is my <laughs> my husband's character. 
a couple of those and then there's like ones where you're just kind of this one is just walking and walking how cute that's what I ordered so you can have you can make these if you go on the website and you look there's a an app that you download on your phone if you have Android or Apple either either product there's an app that you can download and it has um, you can make your own characters and then they will do that so this one is staying cozy so I think this is an older like yeah this is an older kit so here's the winter doodles so I got I think it was even called mystery winter pack so you got like older formats from like maybe last year or the year before there's that one so this one's called winter doodles this one's stay cozy staying cozy then there's some smaller ones i love those little trees but you can really see the difference in our art style from year to year i like these smaller ones with the little hats and the coats those are perfect for my like vertical planner and then there's a bunch of die cuts So there is coffee cup, cute little hat, ice skates, which is what we're doing up here in the north right now. Every time we step outside, a little coffee and a sweater. And then this one has characters. I'm excited to get my little character sheets. They're kind of big for my planner, but I'm gonna stick them in there. A little penguin. These are all penguins doing all kinds of winter stuff. And that one adorable okay so that is everything that i got in this order from hubman and chub girl and i'll be back in a minute with some more so today all i got in the mail was my whiff box but i wanted to share it with you i've already opened it and kind of peeked inside and this month didn't come with like the usual um, pamphlet in there it just kind of went with this um it doesn't really say much about the box itself so this one just seems like it's kind of like I don't know. It's not as exciting as they usually are, but I'm going to take a peek in here and see what's in here. See if there's anything that smells good or anything that I'm going to give away to my daughter. So this is called banana leaf and bamboo. Should be interesting. Hmm. It's got kind of like a, it actually reminds me more of like a rainforest type smell. It's good. It's good. I like it. It's fine. It's really fine. And then there's a hand soap, Just Breathe. We're going to open this guy up because I want to know what this one smells like, which is good because I need a new hand soap for the upstairs guest bathroom. So if it smells good, it'll go up there. And of course, I can't get the wrapping off. Um, let's see if I can find my scissors. Boy, they really want to make sure nothing gets out of the packaging. Oh, and it ships to you. Okay, let's see what this one smells like. It's called Just Breathe. Ew. Mm -mm, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I can't even tell you what that scent is, but it's not a good smell. Um, I wonder if it says eucalyptus, lemon, and mint. No. Well, Maybe it's the eucalyptus I'm smelling. I don't know. I didn't really like it that much, but I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, this one is pink coconut, and if I open it, well, let's just open it because it's probably going to go to my daughter. She loves these smells, and I don't know what a pink coconut should smell like, so I'm going to just open it and see. It doesn't really smell like much of anything. It's got a very light coconut smell, but... Some type of a fruit, maybe grapefruit, maybe like a grapefruit and coconut. I don't, I'm not sure. It's hard to tell with that one. And then this is hand cream, sky burst sky, starburst sky, sorry. Sunflower oil, are, uh, it says sweet apple, amber blossom, whipped vanilla, and creamy coconut. Let's check this one out. This one smells pretty good. I don't smell a lot of, here, I don't smell a lot of apple or coconut. Let me see. Let's just give it the test. Hmm, it smells um, familiar. Like a laundry detergent. <laughs> 
but a good one, a good laundry detergent. That one might go to my daughter because I've got like 50 of those. Um, and then this is a sugar scrub. It's called Luna. I love the packaging. It's really pretty packaging. And I imagine it's probably got a cover on it. Yeah. And I've never really been a big, like, this is something I probably would give to my daughter because I'm really picky about what I use on my face. And I don't think a candle company I mean I'm not their their soap is good but I haven't really had much success with like their body their body stuff so I don't know if I would use this I'm like super picky about what goes on my face I'm getting it open I mean, it's very well packaged I'll tell you that yeah I'm gonna give this to her I don't know what that scent is, but it's pretty strong, perfumey, and I don't know if I would want that on my face. I'm not sure if she'll even want it on her face because she's pickier than I am. So that one we might not be using at all. That one may end up getting gifted to somebody else. But that is everything in my and a phone call coming, so I'll be back in a little bit with another one. Next up, I have Simply Gilded and a new to me shop. This is the Angel Shop. I'll put that one off to the side because that one took a little while to get here, but um. Yeah, we'll see. I'll open it up and show you what I got. So for Simply Gilded this month, it's I love this card. I really, really love this card. So it's got like this speckled background. And then this looks like rose gold for the foil. And then there's a plain one without this. So you can use either one. I think they're really both really pretty. And the pen is just gorgeous. It's like a pearl. On that spackle with the rose gold it's just absolutely gorgeous and then the kit looks like what's this one called sweet this one's called sweet it's really really pretty i just used a simply gilded kit in my planner one of her old ones that i um i've, I've had so many of them and they just like take up space and I don't get to use them that often so I've decided that I'm going to start using them in my new planner because it's just absolutely gorgeous. So here is Sweet. It's all Sweet Shop looking stuff and again this is um, rose gold. It's kind of weird because one of the, actually I think it's a, no it's rose gold. It's hard to tell but one of the washies has silver so I keep thinking I'm going to find silver somewhere in here but these are all rose gold. Here's the numbers. Oh, I love this. That's pretty. I love that she's doing these little deco sheets now because there isn't that much here, but when you add in the deco to the spread, if you don't have like a lot that you want to write down, it's just absolutely gorgeous. And then your half boxes and your, yeah, they're, nope, still rose gold. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm still looking for silver. Like hollow. There's that one. And then your days of the week. It's a very pretty kit. So now on to the washi. So I've already swatched it out so you don't have to watch that struggle, but I will show you them unwrapped. This is the box it came in. It says sweet. There's still one get out stuck in there. These boxes are always so pretty, but I don't know what to do with them. What I should do with them is put the washi back in it. What an idiot. And I could be storing them that way. That way I can find them. Anyway, here they are. Maybe I'll start doing that now. Very pretty. Very, 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 very pretty. Maybe it's not silver. It probably just, no, it's rose gold. It just looked silver in the light under my desk. No, this one is. That's why. It's not silver. Well, it is, but it's like that weird coating that's like a hollow. So it is silver hollow, but it's kind of like a pearl. I don't know if you're going to be able to, like, I know that it's kind of sparkling on the camera right now. Hopefully you can see that. It's very pretty. It was just didn't, unexpected. It was unexpected because the rest of everything else is rose gold. And then I swatched them out. So here they are all swatched. Now you can really see the silver on that top one. But there's all the washies from Simply Gilded. Love, love, love this one. Definitely going to be using that one probably in the spring. I'm going to guess that one's going to be like a spring kit. So let me put that off to the side and move on to the Angel Shop. So I ordered this a while ago. It takes them a little minute for something that's like supposed to be just pull it off the shelf and ship it. It definitely took a little bit. And I don't know if it was the holidays or what. Here's the card. But since I've never um, ordered from her before, I really don't know. Uh, I got the tabs. I got a cover. And then I got the task planner. So... This one, 
I got the coffee one. So the color is coffee and it's got that like rose gold A angel shop. And then it's probably going to take a little bit for me to get it to train. So I'm not going to force it right now because if you saw what happened to my print impression when I forced it, the whole, this whole thing came off. And that kind of turned me off of using these. So now I know be gentle, be patient, slowly break them down, and then hopefully they'll start to lay flat the, the more you use them and you be gentle. So if you haven't seen, I'm not going to do it, the Angel Planners got a bunch of these ones here where you can like put information. Then when you get through all of this, then you've got your monthly layout and you got a whole bunch of those. And then the weeklies is just this. So it's if you can see it, the layouts are going to be interesting. So I think like B6 or print or um, not Hobonichi, but like print pression size, like mini kits, stuff like that. I think those are going to work really well in here. And the reason why I got this was it's my content planner. Um, uh, between this and my online scheduler, I think I'm going to be able to have everything planned out way in advance so I'm not scrambling looking for kits and trying to figure out what I'm going to do next on my YouTube channel and or on my, oh, there they are, or on, you know, Instagram or Facebook or whatever. But these are so pretty. The colors, like this darker one, I like that. Anyway, so that's that. And then I got the cover, which I'll take it out of the plastic so it's easier to see. It's really pretty cover and I can definitely like decorate it, put this in my work bag along with something else that I ordered. I think I already showed it to you, but I think this and this together, like this right here is like a perfect combination and throwing it in your work bag and going. And then here's where your pens are. So I can put I have this pen and then I can put some of my markers, a couple of the sticker sheets that I need and I'm good to go. So for planning, I think that's going to be a really good um, really good little combination and that that obviously I picked up from Villa Beautiful that little pen case along with a bunch of pens and I think I, it's probably in this yeah I think it's in this year this month's haul like this video it'll be earlier in this video see I'm not gonna do it right now because I'm afraid I'm gonna break it <laughs> so I'm gonna break like break the spine down a little bit more and then I'll feel better about bending it in half and putting the rest of the cover on but I like this because it's got little pockets so that I can put some like little kits in here. It's got a pen loop. It's got another pocket here. So I've got like lots of room and then I've got the monthly tab divider. So I think this is going to be fun. It's not something I'll probably ever share um, here because I mean, this is going to be pretty boring. Maybe I'll share the first time I lay down a kit in here. If, if anybody's really interested in seeing that and just see how it looks with, I have a ton of kits that are going to try out in this one. So I think it'll work out pretty well. Anyway, that's it for this part of the haul and I will be back soon with some more. Okay. So next up I did order, um, it was like a grab box from Hubman and Chuck Girl. And this is the stuff that came in it. Plus my subscription, my journaling subscription is in here. So I'm going to kind of go through, I did kind of mess around in here and use some stuff. So I will show you, I'll just show you what I did because I, this came in in the middle of my work week and I really wanted to use these kits. So I grabbed them and I used one of them. So I'll show you how it came out, but this is all the stuff minus this. This is the monthly subscription. This stuff and this stuff <laughs> all came in the box. So first off, there were these adorable, these are so stinking cute, look at that. These are, um, I have some stickers that go with this, this one. And then here's the farm one. So these are little sticky notes, post-it sticky notes, and the frogs, which I have all of these stickers in here. It came with this adorable pin, which has a stationary box. Isn't that cute? And then this was not in it. I don't know why this got in here. Sorry. <laughs> I think as it was in the pile that I was grabbing over there, but it came with a bunch of cards. And so let's go through those. So there's a happy birthday. It's a little dinosaur. These are all blank inside. Another birthday one. Oh my gosh, that one's adorable. You are magical or you're magical. These are the envelopes says Hubman and Chub Girl on the back. They're super thick. And then there's, these are postcards, but what I did with the last set of postcards I got is I just attached them to um, blank card bases and then use them as cards because I don't typically send postcards to people, but I do send obviously birthday cards and stuff. So here is one that goes with the cinema. Here's the carnival one. And then this one has the, the lemons and limes. So that's all the cards and these all match collections that are in the shop. 
This one was um, a space one, uh, outer space planet kit, five of six. So I'm guessing like this one of six, um, you don't get the whole kit, but you get like, you know, sheets, sheets that were in it. So I'll show you in my, this is my task planner. So the angel shop planner, and it has this type of, of a layout where it's kind of a, a horizontal layout and these are mine I made these but this is what was on this sheet so you can see since I didn't need the numbers since I already have my entire planner numbered I made my own uh, dates sorry if you can hear my dog walking around she's being weird right now uh, but these are the boxes that were there and then the little flags that were there and then this is some washi that I had laying around that matched so that's what was on this sheet and then there's some more sheets like that there's this one and they're all different so this is page one of six so I'm sure that the six other pages had other stuff you could use there's this one which is the camping I'm a happy camper, adorable. Then Let's Bake, I have a whole collection of this so I can add that to it. I also have a whole collection of cinema, so it's movie time, love that. Then this one is super cute, Terrarium Planner Kit. There's a one page. These ones, this size is perfect for like if you have a hobo or if you have any one of the the other versions of the smaller planner because this, I don't like hobo because Everything is really small. And in here, I can march out an entire week. This is my social media planner. No, no, I can show you. Like, here's January. It has the months. I already went through the planner, but you can see here. Here's how it looks when you filled it out. So that's that week. And I just have all of the social media stuff on here. And it just helps me keep track of the things that I need to do, things I need to film, stuff like that. So these one single sheets work perfectly. Then there's... This I have one of these and I forgot to use it and now I have another one which is absolutely perfect. Uh, when life gives you lemons, this is so cute. But I think this is what goes with this one. And then look at the frogs. Oh, I love these. See, and now that I've seen this in person, I need to go back and get the entire collection if it's there. This one's called Frog Froggy Picnic Day, and I'm sorry about my voice, but I know something's happening. Some some I'm getting sick with something. I don't know something in my throat. So try to get through this entire thing. I have quite a few things to unbox because while I was at work, I got a lot of stuff in, but sorry, I'm apologizing now for the voice. You're doing amazing. This is three out of three. I'm guessing that this was a third page, but how cute is this for a school one? Oh my gosh, that's adorable. And then there's a bunch of stuff in here. Let me open it up. I'm just keeping them from getting lost. There was another, oh wait, there's another one. This one, <laughs> more coffee. It's one of the, the vinyls. So you've got this little cutie here. And then this one, the beach one. Castle, I have this collection. Cinema and that. And then this one says hello. And the game one. So those are the vinyls. Then you've got some of these ones. So these are little sticker notes, check boxes. Then you've got a whole bunch of holographic unicorns. Then you've got the cinema numbers. We've got sushi, pandas on bread. Come on now, pandas on bread. Then a farm one. This one is like snack boards, like charcuterie boards. More bread, adorable. I'm gonna let her out in a second. <laughs> Here is the farm animals. This one is lab day and then graduation. And then it also came with a full um, journal. So this is a blank journal dot grid on the inside. I already started kind of playing around with it, trying to go with like, trying to do some shop goals, um, some like, you can see here, I started filling it out at work because I, I, a lot of times I brainstorm at work. So I thought this plus this in my backpack and I'm set. I'm good. So there's all of that. Let me let her out. Oh, oh, she laid back down. She stopped fidgeting. Your monthly subscriptions come in this. So this month is Sweet Shop. So I'll pull out the Sweet Shop stuff. There is a sticky note. Let me take it out so you can see how adorable it is. There's the sticky notes. And these are the big stickers. And then you get, and it comes in this, which fits inside of... Uh, I gotta buy another one because it's full, but this, this one came in the Christmas, so I bought a Christmas box, this one came in the Christmas box, and these just fit right inside of here, but you can see I need another one because I'm already, but that one's already full, so I'm gonna order another one, but here's this, it's all like sweet shop candy stuff, I get the journaling subscription, here's the card, uh, because I'm, I'm loving journaling. Here's the February 
numbers, days of the week. Oh, I should have used those in that planner too. Oh, well, too late. More numbers, little tiny candies. And then on this side, you've got these two vinyls and then more candy. I love this sheet. This is something I didn't notice in any of the other ones. So I think this is something new, but this is fantastic. And I love using this in my actual planner. So like laundry, birthday, all that kind of stuff is right here. And it is fantastic. I love that. More cupcakes. These, these sheets right here, this kind of stuff is really good for marking birthdays. So even if you don't end up using it in there. So there is the monthly subscription. I get the journaling one, but there's a planner one and something else. I don't remember what it was. So that is everything in that one. And I'll be back in just a second. Here, let me put it back. Look at that. I'll be back in just a second with more. So next up we have sugar and sloth. So this is the tiny hug club. This one comes straight from England, I believe is where it's coming from. But this month, I have no idea. Didn't see any sneaks. I have no clue what it is. So I'm just going to open it up. Oh, it comes in the packaging is always different. I never know what the packaging is going to be when it shows up. So this month, let me take everything out and then get rid of the box. Okay. So this month you get a pen. Pen? Yep. Just a regular pen. But it's got cute little, says time for a strongly worded letter. <laughs> That's cute. And I think this is sushi. I don't know. I'm not sure. I can't tell what that is on the pencil. So... Might do it, might not. I do what I want. <laughs> I love that. That is so cute. I have so many of those. Um, be the weird you want to see in the world. Oh, that's cute. Looks like an ocelot. Then your card this month has Arnold. Ocelot. Oh, I was right. Ocelot Anarchy. Tiny Hug Club. And then this one is a postcard. I'll leave it here so you can read it, but I'm not going to read them all to you. And then this month's month, you can use this like the, it doesn't have to be for any month, obviously, the way that they set it up, which I think is really cool. And then your pins. So regular pin. I hope it's an adorable ocelot. And it is. It said bad vibes only. That's odd. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, the pin itself is cute, but I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to be like getting rid of them. I don't know. Anyway, this is the um, sweary one. So that one I love. Oh my gosh. I wonder if I could get away with that because you can't really see it. You can't really read it unless you get really close to me. I bet you I could put that on my backpack. I love that. That is adorable. So that is everything from Tiny Hug Club and I'll be back with, I think the next thing is Coco Daisy. Next up is Coco Daisy, and this feels pretty light, so I'm not sure if this is the full subscription or if this is the add-on for, because I got the um, Valentine's Day add-on, so it, because it feels light, I feel like it's the add-on. Yeah, it is. I don't know where my regular subscription is. Usually it would come first, but I'm sure it'll be here in a day or two, so I will just add on to this video when I get it. But for now, I'll go through the actual add-on subscription. So this is the Valentine's Day. Um, this is a single purchase. It's not a monthly sub, so I don't know why I keep saying sub subscription because it's not. So this one is all Valentine's Day themed, but will coordinate with the regular um, monthly subscription. So you can kind of use them together. So I did get the sticker kit out on as well. And then I'll go through what is in here. It's really cute. So we've got some washi. Oh, I love this. I'm not going to roll it out because it's a single pattern, but it's really, really cute. And it's just black and white. But let me get the paper off of it so you can see it without the glare. I like this. And so it's the black and white really cute then oh my goodness there's a lot of stuff in here oh i love those love 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 those oh my gosh oh there's so much here okay so i'll start with the stamps because i don't use the stamps so uh i'm actually going to send a bunch of stamps to one of my pr girls because she likes to use them in her journal so next time she i send her a package i'm going to send one out to her i wanted to show it to you without the glare but i don't know if it will but it's, they're really cute don't get me wrong i use the stamp all the time and i've got tons of ink and stuff but i just don't I just don't carry the stuff around and I, I tend to not think about it. So they're kind of wasted on me. So she's going to get a bunch of these. I'll send her this one too, even though she, I don't know if she's a big Valentine's Day person, but she's going to get it along with a bunch of other ones. 
Okay. That's that. So we came with a stamp set. I'm making a mess out of this. Let's let's get Simon. Simon is, is my boyfriend. Free hugs. He's so stinking cute. I want to put him in my task planner. I'm actually going to use some of this to decorate that. Because there's a bunch of pages in the beginning of that little tiny planner that I think these would work really well. So you've got a little tiny notes, little tiny notepad. It says little love notes. This would be cute to put like in somebody's lunchbox or something. There's that. And then these. Oh, I love these. Definitely going to open this so you can see it. So look at how, I don't know if you can see the sparkle, but... They have a, they have like glitter in them and they're all the hearts and, and these are thinner because they're hearts. Usually they're like bubbles and they kind of stick up a little, but these are pretty flat. So these are going to be perfect. I'll save that. And then we've got a couple, a couple few bookmarks in here. Let me get this out. So you've got just a little love note. Love is in the air. And oh, I like that one. These ones, I think I am definitely going to put in that planner, the little planner. So there's that. And then let's go through the cards. Only you can give me that feeling. Happy Valentine's Day. They're blank on the other side. Love is in the air. Love. And then you and me. Cute. Oh, there's another one. Love is all you need. Oh, then there's some puffy letters in this light red. Chipboard. I'll just leave it here so you can read it. There's a whole bunch of chipboard elements. These are great for doing, you know, any type of 12 by 12 or like scrapbooking stuff. And then you've got labels, lots and lots of labels. And then let's go to the paper. So for the paper, you get, let me flip it. So they're double-sided. Oh, I love that. That's beautiful. So you get this beautiful floral. It's pink polka dot, the ledger, love this. Lots and lots of hearts, adorable. Love every single one of those pages. And then here, this is gonna be hard to see. You, this you can see perfectly. So this is the, the acetate. And then this is the vellum. And the vellum is gonna be difficult for you to see because it's a really light pink heart, foiled pink heart. It's beautiful. So there's those. I'm kind of running through this pretty quick, which is good because hubby's cooking dinner right now and I'm hungry. I go through this. I'm going to go eat. Um, yep. <laughs> I'm just going to dump them all out. All right. Pencil. And this one says Happy Valentine's Day, February 14th. These are all stickers. Oh, I like that. With love. All of me loves all of you. Little bird. Heart. I like these little sketchy hearts. Another pen, fountain pen. There are typewriter. There's a lot of little birds in here. A lot of sketchy hearts. Which, oh, I like this. Love. Yeah, these are definitely going to go in that planner. Cute little love birds. Tag. My heart is wherever you are. You plus me equals love. Oh, these are cute. Little, little tiny ones. Oops, oops, oops together forever i love i don't know why but i love these wonky hearts exo more wonky hearts more pens well that's a pen fountain pen oh, regular old gel pen another bird love letters a little tag with hearts date night another little bird and you plus me round tag so there's all of the little those are the individual stickers and now we can go through the sticker sheet. Let's see. So we have this one here with, um, I like this right here. I love the font. Look at the font. It reminds me of the font that I use. Date night, together forever. I love those. Those are fun. And this month is my anniversary this month. So some of these I'm going to use this month. I'm not even going to wait till next month. And oh, yes, I love that. Oh, yes. Coffee, candy. This sheet is perfect. Little letters. These are great. And then these are vellum. Kiss cut. Oh, my gosh. This one is really cute. I'm probably going to like this kit more than I like the main kit. 
So there's a really good chance that I will use most of this and very little of the main kit because this is fantastic. I love, love, love it. So that is it for the Valentine's Day add-on from Coco Daisy. Okay, so I'm back in this part of the video to unbox Pinnacle Ticker Co. I've got a tiny little tulip and I got my main Coco Daisy kit. So I'm probably gonna have to break this up because I'm sure the dog or something's gonna freak out during this unboxing and I'll probably have to do it in sections, but for the most part, I'm gonna give it a try. So this one is Pinnacle Stickers. This is my very good friend, Sarah. Let me put this off to the side. I forgot about my little invoice. She left me a little note. I'm just going to read it really quick because this just came in the mail right now. So hang on one second. <laughs> this is going to be good. So she added in something in here that um, I'm really excited about. So she is starting a new kit bundle in February. It'll change each month and she made the art for this one. So let's get in to Sarah's stuff. So this was from the very last TPC sale I ordered from. I only ordered from two shops and one of them wasn't even in the TPC sale. So I really, uh, oh how cute. These are cute, the freebies. I really just was kind of in shock about the whole thing and then it kind of, I, I don't know, I think I had the same reaction as everybody else and I just kind of curled in and didn't do a lot of shopping and didn't really do a lot of participation. So my bad and I will get back on track next month, I promise. As soon as I find all these shops and when they have their sales, I'm still gonna continue to order from them. So no worries, you'll still see all the favorite shops here. So these are the freebies from the TPC sale. Unfortunately, we did have to put next TPC sale because we didn't know what was happening. Uh, most of us had no idea what was happening. So that's on here, but how cute are these? And look at her little characters are so adorable. Is this one? Oh, I'm so I'm so proud of her. She's doing such a good job. Cute. This one and this one. And this is a perfect size to use in my um what do you call it? The, I think I might be able to use these in the Hobonichi Cousin, which just came in the mail the other day. I should have unboxed it, but I didn't. I needed to make take measurements and I already started making the templates for the kits for that. So uh yeah. These are the freebies from Shop Swap. So this one was Sarah's, Prism Cherry, Caffeine Queens, Tilly B, and me. I'm in here too. So there's the swap shop swaps. And then we'll get into the kits. So I want to make sure. Oh yes. I got a bunch of daily pages because I've been doing a lot of daily journaling. And I wanted to see. I just, uh, I have my task planner, the Angel Shop planner, which I've been using for my, um, I have it right here. So I've been using this for my um, social media planning. So in here, I'll show you one that's empty. Here's one. Uh, I thought that the daily with journaling pages, because this is a horizontal layout, so you can basically put anything anywhere you want it. And I don't need a lot of information in here, so I get to do a lot of stickers, and it's really, really cute. And I have, I've got going on and on and on. And then I stopped, I think I'm only up to March 6th. So I ordered a bunch of like daily with journaling type kits just so that I could see if they would work in that planner. And then Penny Pages was having a clearance of all of their daily stuff that was in the TPC shop that she got sent back to her. And I ordered 50 of them. <laughs> so I probably won't unbox those, but you'll probably see them here and there in different spreads because I'm going to start being better about posting spreads and stuff on Instagram. So I promise, I promise I'm getting better. So this one is Romance and I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. I love all the, so these are all boxes up here, even though it looks like big washi, there's cut lines. So these are all boxes at the top and then she's got all of these paint swatches I love these guys right here these um, are great little dividers and places to put your scripts not scripts yeah scripts sorry I was thinking of quote boxes and scripts at the same time and then this one is romance page two so here's these two here I'm gonna lay them out like this so you can see them hopefully and let me zoom you in a little bit so you can really get a good look at these kits Spend a little bit of time on Miss Sarah here. She just opened up. So this one is Potter Rainbows, daily page one and daily page two. And she's got her little character in there. How cute. I <laughs> love this one with the little little pot. But you've got check boxes and uh, more paint swatches. And then this one has got, 
How cute is this one with Dobby right here? Oh my gosh, this is adorable with the deco at the bottom. Then we have Woodland Watercolors just because I thought the colors were beautiful. Spring is coming and I wanted some spring themed kits. Then we have Forest Rainbows. I told you I went a little crazy, a little crazy in the shop. So Forest Rainbows, another one that I thought would be really cute in the spring. And then, you know me, I gotta have something cute. Look at these donuts. How cute. It's just called Donut and it's adorable. I got the daily pages, page one and page two. There's a little deco sheet with a bunch of little donuts and then there's a full kit. So we'll do the full kit. So here's all your full boxes. This is the washi and divider page. Some little quarter boxes. Then you've got your check boxes, which everybody knows I have to have my check boxes. Your functional page, assorted functionals, days of the week. Here's the brushes page. This right here is by far one of my favorite pages is that brushes page. Cause you know me, I don't love a lot of boxes. Like square, I like to have some variety in it. My husband just got home, so I'm gonna finish going through this and go help him get the groceries. Then this one is called, I think this is the one that she sent me. So this is gonna change up every month. Um, it just says February, so this is the one that's going to be coming out in February, and oh my gosh, how gorgeous is this? So it's like a watercolor, you've got days of the week, this is a functional. Look at that washi, tons and tons of dividers, page five is a whole bunch of boxes, oh, here's what we need, check boxes, I love the color palette, it's very kind of wintry color palettes beautiful and then that page right there with all of your paint swatches so that is everything that i got from pinnacle sticker co fabulous job i love 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 the functionals february is gorgeous and i will be back in just a minute with tiny little tulip next up we have tiny little tulip and i i got a few things now i didn't go super super crazy although i really really wanted to um i did pick up a lot of the stuff that i wanted so this is the january 2023 freebie winter wonderland it's adorable it's nice and bright colors i love the little the little gnomes are so cute i love this so i'm going to use this in my planner and then i got oh, a lot of foil so i'm gonna put um, let me do the kit first so i wanted to do like like I said, I'm doing the daily with pages, um, daily with journaling, and this is Tiny Little Tulips format, and I got a few of them. So I got, it's a single page format. I got the um, school one, which I thought was super, super cute. There's no names on these. They just have numbers because she's an adult and I'm not. <laughs> and then someday I'm going to actually get there to where I number my 550,000 kits, which actually have fi over 500 different items that I really need to go to a numbering system. But anyway, you can see this is like a school themed one, which I thought was super cute. Then I have the artwork for this, the full kit for this. Absolutely gorgeous. I loved it so much. I wanted the daily. Then I didn't even realize she had this kit. <laughs> and so when I saw it, I nabbed it immediately. So this is uh, House of the Dragon or Game of Thrones, but I like to think it's more House of the Dragons because I really um, loved that show. So I'm going to has a dragon, has her, we're good. Then we've got this one, which is a Halloween themed one. And it's again, the daily pages because I wanted to use it in my task planner. So now let's get into the foil. <clears throat> Can I just tell you how gorgeous this is? Oh my gosh, I just can't even. So I picked up a bunch of the Disney kits because um, not only do I have and I'm going to be using my Disney kits this year, all of them I'm also making more so I wanted to have a bunch of different options for the Disney I don't I don't know if she's gonna do another one that's differently themed or not or if this one is gonna be this is perfect like she doesn't have to change a thing this would go with every single kit all year long the only thing that is in in it's it says love at first bite but that is not Valentine's Day themed it's got this castle with Mickey and Minnie you could use that anytime any kit middle of summer it doesn't matter so this kit is perfect no matter what you never have to get a different kit so you've seen the format already so i'm just going to run through and show you so this one is i'm terrible with it she has so many options for foil i don't know what i have here so just look at it love it this is some type of a gold sparkle so i'll go through the format with you so you can see it look at these I should just show you this page just by itself on every one of them and you'll get the colors. But look at this bottom washi. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And then 
it's, I think it's a hollow. It's definitely a hollow because I see a whole lot of colors in there, but it's got the sparkle to it and it's gold. So there's gold sparkly hollow. This one, I believe, is the purple one. So we're just going to go to, since you've already seen the format, we're just going to go to this page right here and show you the purple hollow, which I thought this one would go really, really well with the uh, villains on vacation. So that's what this one is going to be used for. Then, I don't know. This one looks like gold, but I think it's the silver. I don't know. You guys, you guys look and see if you can figure out what's what. I could like pull out my receipt and see, but this is like a confetti. This might be like a gold foil confetti. Look at how gorgeous. How stinking beautiful is that? Definitely rainbow hollow gorgeousness. So there's that one. You know, I got to put it back in order. I love these. And then I got a, just a gold hollow because I wanted, I think, or is this yeah, this is the gold hollow. No sparkle. Beautiful. That's that. And then I'm on to a new format here with the silver. So the silver is like a silver, probably confetti. But this one is like more of a winter theme. So you've got snowflakes everywhere. You've got all the winter stuff. I thought I had this one already, but when I did the kit, the winter blue kit from Tenla Tulip, I didn't have it. So I had to use my SPC foil, but I, did, I wanted to make sure I picked this up because I do have more winter kits that I'm going to be using. But how beautiful is that? Oh, so gorgeous. And then look at your, your underlays. So beautiful. And then your washi on this one. Beautiful. This would be a good um, any wintertime one and also a really nice like party one. You could do this for any party one. But then your quotes are like more uplifting, almost like a January type of a thing, like a new year, new me. But be the reason someone believes in good people and she is strong, fierce, brave and full of fire. So these are like perfect quotes for any time kits, like party type kits. But it also and it's got stars whole lot of stars so it doesn't have to be winter although this reminds me of winter it's definitely got more of a party theme to it so any time of year maybe i'll use this one for my anniversary oh yeah my anniversary kit well i don't know because i want to save it for something better my anniversary kit's kind of goofy <laughs> so i want to save it for something better than my anniversary kit so we'll see where, where we put that one um and then this one with the red so this is a red sparkle and hopefully you can see it, but it's a very like Valentine's Day type kit. Lots and lots of hearts. I love these little falling hearts on this one. Then you've got little tiny hearts for your underlays, your washi, and your it was always you and then you, you plus me. I love that. So here is a Valentine's Day one. So I'm going to use that next month. So that is everything that I picked up from Tiny Little Tulip. Oh, I love this stuff. So next up, we're going to do Coco Daisy. And I'm not going to bother stopping the camera. I'm just going to move this out of the way and then just keep on going. So I decided to make a few little changes to my order, but I, it's not going to be on this one. So I've decided to just go straight. Let me back you out a little bit because this is ridiculously big box. There you go. So <clears throat> with my Coco Daisy, I know that a lot of people have been signing up for Coco Daisy with me because I get the emails. So um, big advocate, love, love, love Coco Daisy, but I am getting to the point where there's a lot of stuff in here that I don't need. And I know I'm going to, I'm going to share with you right now, some of the things that you can do with your Coco Daisy kit to try and minimize the stuff that you don't need. So, sorry, that was very loud. <laughs> so your theme is a papery and it's, she's done this theme before. So this is, if you have been a member for a while, you already know that you've got probably extras from another kit that will go with this, but this has an updated color theme and it's got like a lot more added to it. So it's really, really pretty. So we've got papery and then on the back is the little switch things up and bring back one of my favorite themes, birds and typewriters. See, she's done it before, but that one had more of like a aqua, I want to say aqua, like color theme to it where this is more pinks pinks and yellows so anyway there's that let me pull up my ugly sweatshirt i have the big poofy sweatshirt on today because it is my it's it's my weekend right now so i just did my my big work week and it is time to just chill relax 
Well, not really, because now I'm going to be working in the shop, but you know what I mean. I even have my jammy pants on. I'm just, like, ready to go. Okay, so this is what it comes in. This is the main planner kit, and there's a lot in here. So this time in the main kit, so she switches things up a lot. So the main kit can have, it's always going to have your, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, it's always going to have your basics, like your basic stuff with your papers and your stickers and your pen. And this right here usually has your notepad and your pen refills, but then other things can get added in like this. So this month you have a black and white striped bow. Uh, you have your pen, which is really cute. Let me open it for you. Like, I'm, a, I'm out of control with these pens. I have more than one container of these pens, and I'm getting, like, it's out of control. Because I get Simply Gilded every month, and I get a pen from Simply Gilded. And then every once in a while, I go on a tear because I need Villa Beautiful pens. I see something, like a color, like the orange one. Had to have the orange one. But then when I got on there with the, for the orange one, I don't know why I can't open this. This is, like... It was a struggle, big time struggle. When I got on there for the orange one, I saw all these other ones that I wanted. And then there were some that were like imperfect. And I'm like, oh, I don't care if it's imperfect. I just want it. And oh my goodness, I didn't notice this had numbers. Look at that. That is so cool. And it's got white gems or clear. It's really pretty. Different, definitely different. But let me just, this is just one container of pens. These are all the ones that come from Coco Daisy. I only put... Coco Daisy, um, Simply Gilded, and Villa Beautiful in that container. And then I've got other containers with other pens from other shops. So, yeah, not hurting for pens. Ooh, <clears throat> I'm sorry. My voice has been giving me troubles for like the last few days. So here is your little notepad. This one it says, you are adored. Who, why, details, action. She did a thing on her uh, YouTube channel explaining why she picked this and this was something that she thought would be cute to do like to add little notes to loved ones lunch boxes or to leave little notes for you know family members or whatever so that is the idea behind this but you can use it just as a regular notepad and then let me get this out of the way so new refills these are different from what we've been getting before and i've noticed i have used some of the pens with the new refills and they do work better then here's your regular notepad things to remember and it's got a nice little grid behind it today is a good day i'm gonna get rid of that package and then you got a pen pouch this time she does this every once in a while where she'll either do a pen pouch or something else so this time it is a pen pouch and i like this one this one's really cute so you can fit your pens in there, fit your little dot markers in there. See, I have these generic ones that I got from Amazon. So I have like 100,000 colors over there since I'm doing a lot of journaling. Look at the back. Kindness is free. Sprinkle that stuff everywhere. It's really, really pretty pen case. Then your, so this has the, I can't get it off, but it's got the coating over it. So it doesn't look, it when you pull the coating off, it's crystal clear. It's beautiful. Because you've got the typewriters on the side, and you can attach this to it, punch it, and put it in your and put it in your binder if you wanted to. Um, I use them more like bookmarks. So I'm gonna wait on the stickers and show you the papers. So this time you get an acetate in here. Usually you just get papers. This is usually in the um, classified. So super pretty. Love the pens. A little sharpie on there. So that's your acetate. We set that over there. And then you've got your, let me open them up. So the first one here, it's got the paint splatters on one side, really pretty. And then the birds on the wire. I like this. It reminds me of school. There's that one. Then you've got the pens all along the bottom of this side. And I don't know what that is. They look like rooftops to me <laughs> on that side. And then you've got typewriter for, typewriter stuff with all kinds of like family stuff, memories, smiles, family, doored, kisses, XOXO. And then this side has some pink florals. Pretty paper, very pretty paper. Put that to the side. Let's do this. And then I'll do the, the, the sticker pack after. I might actually just put the sticker pack off to the side and I'll, I'll zoom in and do them all at the same time at the bot at the end because if I do it now there's more and if I do it now then the camera gets all wonky when you start moving in and out with the camera so stickers so this is what you get in a regular sticker pack I'll lay them down for you you can see them so you get numbers a bunch of numbers some days of the week letters some boxes this you can um 
cover there's they're in here if you don't like one of the patterns in here you can cover it with that one and i like that i like that a lot i probably will do that because i really like that um, newspaper print your february all of your these go in here so and then your little icons and then there's a little page of extras so this is in the main planner kit then if you want to expand on that oh should probably do the washi in the main planner kit, there's these two washies. One of them is a skinny one. I'm really glad she's doing the skinny ones now because I like using the skinny ones to divide like things on my pages or to underline certain things that I want to underline. So I really like that she's doing skinny washies more often. Usually you just get these big fat ones all the time and none of the skinny ones. But I think this is like two months in a row, maybe three. Okay, well... I'd love to show you this washi, but I can't open it. Well, give me a second. Let me see if I can find something to open it with. Sticker lifter and washi lifter, all in one. Perfect Prince Co. <laughs> if you're looking for it. So this one has, uh, let's see, probably be easier if I put this on the paper. Make it a little bit easier for you. The, the camera doesn't like to focus if it's not... These birds are so cute if it's not on something. So I'm just going to put them both. Oh, wait till you see this. This is adorable. The last couple have been solid colors. There was a, uh, like a light lilac one. And then the other one was like a brown kind of sparkly one. This one is hearts. So it's actually got a pattern on it. And I think it's really cute. Come on. I'll bring it up to the camera so you can see it. There you go. So there are the two that were in the main planner kit. And then we're going to do the add-on. So planner add-on kit is this one right here. This is extras. So this is just stuff that, you know, if you are uh, like to decorate your binders or whatever, um, this is a good one to pick up because it has a lot of things that you can tuck in pockets. So... Another washi in this one, and this one has times on it. Let me pull it out now since I'm already in the washi mood. There's probably another washi in the <clears throat> classified, but. I think that <clears throat> she should, Purdy, in case you want one, Purdy Planner. I think she should advertise that as a washi lifter too not just a sticker lifter. So you've got, it's a rainbow, a light rainbow of different colors all the way around. And then you've got, I don't know what all the colors are. I think it's just these pink to here and then this darker green, but it's got times on it, like typewriter font times. There you go. There's that one. Cute, that's cute. And let me get all the extra pieces off my fingers. This month, oh good, we got these and they have, oh I love that, sorry, <laughs> I get distracted. I didn't see the unboxing for this one. Sometimes I'll watch like Christine's unboxing, but I haven't had time to sit down for that long and watch it, because she goes over every single thing, that every possibility that you can get is um, on the Coco Daisy YouTube channel. So these are patches, but they're stickers on the back, so you can just stick them on. You don't have to like iron it on or do anything like that. And you can put them on pretty much any surface. Just know that if you put these on your covers, like, gosh, my voice, I'm so sorry, guys. If you put them on a cover like this, there's a really good chance that you're going to peel up because this isn't real leather. And so there's a really good chance you're going to peel up and make a mess on here. So I wouldn't put it on something like this, but you can definitely put it like on the insides of your hardcover planners and stuff. Those, they're really, really cute on there. I know because I've done it. I already messed up one of my planners doing that. Okay, then we got some pockets. So these pockets are great for carrying around these. You can throw these in your pockets and throw it inside of your planner and away you go. So there's a couple of pockets. More of those, save those for later. And then this time, she did this last time with this kit as well. There's these, these aren't my favorite clips, but here they are. I'm not a fan of these big long 
um, paper clips. So I will take them off and put them on the short fat ones or put them on like decorative ones. I've got a ton of these in all different like styles. And so I'll like wrap it around something like this or the short fat clips. I'll do those because I hate these big long ones, but I like the little charms on the bottom. So there's that. And another little bag. And this one should have all of your, yeah, your cards. So I'll just let you read them. Your colorway, February, and then your four by six. There's those. Like I said, this one is a good, the add-on is a good one if you're big into um, decorating your covers, your planner covers. Then we've got the to-do lists, appointments, water the plants, all that kind of stuff. These are the numbers that I use. Um, then there's another alpha and deco upside down because that's me upside down. And then this one, she's been doing this a lot lately where she'll add like little extra quote things in here, scripts for you, currently thinking, currently planning for like daily journaling and then more day. I never use these. <coughs> I'm sorry. I hate that when people cough on camera and then I'm over here doing it. I'm not going to take that out. You can see what it is. These are rub-ons. She does rub-ons. Uh, you can pretty much guarantee you're always going to get rub-ons in one of her kits because she really loves them. And I think they're like a lot of people in the community really like them. I don't personally use them that often. Every once in a while, I'll see something on here that I absolutely have to have. But to me, this is a pain to have to fussy cut and, you know, rub out the stuff that I want. But if you are using a uh, cousin or a hobo with that super thin tumble paper, this is really good for, I think, that because it's not going to give you any bulk like on in your planner. So rub-ons are good for stuff like that. But uh, let's do the classifieds. There's the classifieds. Oh, this isn't barely even touching. I might be able to save that. I love, I love that little Simon thing in there. It's so cute. So you can see here, because a little bit earlier I did the... Um, unboxing of the Valentine's Day kit. You can use that in your planner as well. I just cut off the Coco Daisy on the top. It's a beautiful pattern. I'm going to keep that. Uh, I did the unboxing of the other one earlier and it was uh, the Valentine's -y part of this. So you've got this which matches the other kit so you can use them together. You can use them separately whatever but the the idea is to have them go together but if you don't want the Valentine's you don't it's not like going to be a part of this. You, would ha you add it on so that you can have Valentine's Day stuff, but you don't have to have it. It's not everybody's big on Valentine's Day. Some people don't want anything to do with it. So, roll out this one. This one's really pretty. I have another one of these from another shop. Very similar with the pens. So, I'm just going to show you. There's a bunch of the different pens on here, but I'm not going to roll out every single one of them. So there's this one, and I just totally missed the page and put it on the acetate instead. Oh, you're getting two acetates this time. So I'll, I'll kind of show you like this. You can see it's pretty. That'll look really nice on the back of, on the bottom of the page. Stamps. This time you're getting some stamps, and this has the calendar. I'm sure she's going to do some, some sort of a tutorial on it. Here, let me put a backing on it so you can see it. Some sort of tutorial on it. Uh, I don't use stamps. That one's going to go to Tara. And then another one that's not my favorite. I don't like these uh, rubber rubber ones, but there's a rubber bird. Then this is adorable. This goes on the magnet that you've seen a hundred times. I'm not going to pull it out for you. Sticky notes, a quick note. And then Simon. <laughs> I love Simon so much. She's so cute. Then you've got a February tip-in, which is, here, let me put it on a backing. If you remember, there's a protective sealy sheet thing over it that you got to peel off, but, and then it's crystal clear. Crystal clear and beautiful. Then you've got some stickers, some more deco, some pens and ink bottles. That's cute. And then days of the week. I like these days of the week because they're different. I don't like those, like, plain ones. Then you have vellum and acetate and that is gorgeous this vellum is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i love this right here definitely going to be putting this in my planner definitely okay so there's that and then the last no i'm not at the last thing i don't know what i'm talking about 
stickers. So um, I'm going to go through the planner sticker kit first, and then there's a Daisy add-on sticker kit that I do. And hopefully my camera doesn't shut off because it did once um, when I filmed a lot. So that's why I'm kind of going through it quickly is because I don't want to miss anything. But you've got your dots, journaling dots. You've got your big boxes, your full boxes. These fit the one and a half by 1.9 or 7 by 9 planners like Erin Condren. These. I've got these. I'm not going to explain them all. You know what they are. One of my favorite pages. Introduce today's flags. Deco and your vellum sheet. These are all washi strips in different sizes. And then you've got some paint swatches at the bottom. Love it. And then the, the Daisy add-on is not planner specific. So this one's a good one for journaling or just to add on to whatever sticker kit you've got. So let me turn it around. Okay. So you got a deco sheet. You got, oh, I like that. That's cool right there. Little extras. I like that too. Alpha. And then this is the vellum sheet with all the quotes and some more washi. So not planner specific, can be used. This is a good journaling one, like I said, and that's what I'm gonna use it for. I also have this, you've seen these. I'm gonna show it to you, but this is what I'm cutting out. So in the um, regular planner kit, like you pick your inserts. So I'm gonna stop the inserts, I think, because that planner is just sitting there. I am not using it at all. And I've done this for years since I started with Coco Daisy because I am more of a seven by nine ring bound planner person. And so like this is an extra chore for me that I just don't have time for. So I don't use it and it's a waste. You can get the planner pack, the original one, the first thing I opened with no inserts. So if you don't want this and you're like me and you use planners like this where, where how am I gonna you know there's nothing there's no nothing there but Coco Daisy does have these so you can order yourself one of these types of planners not have an insert and still use all the Coco Daisy stuff and still have the beautiful like I think even sneaky peekies in there of what some of the themes are for the year because I think the colors match I'm not 100% sure on that but because I haven't I haven't bought one but um yeah, so that's what I meant by, I was going to tell you at the end, how to not have a bunch of waste is to just to order what you need, and you can definitely not have to have this. So it's beautiful, but it's just, I just don't use it. So here is the main, like, page that would start the month, and then on the other side, I'm just going to flip it like this. I think this is how it's supposed to go in your planner. You're supposed to punch this side. You can get these punched or unpunched, so if it is something, here's your monthly view. It's beautiful. Just don't use it. And then it's a vertical. I got the vertical spread. So you go all the way through all the weeks. The beautiful artwork. It's all the same on every page of the weekly. And then notes page. And then you get into this, which is perforated. So you can make your lists on here. Write your notes on here and rip this off and take it with you. So you can see here, and that's what it looks like on that side. So these are perforated pages, and then there's a whole bunch of these that you can use throughout the week, all the same. So that's what the inserts look like, and I love them. I'm not going to lie, I love them. But I'm really going to try to like cut down on some waste this year and not have a lot of extra stuff laying around. So now let's zoom you in. There you go. And we'll do the two sticker packs. So sticker pack number one is, I'm just going to lay them out. We've got a bunch of stuff in here. Lots and lots of pens are going to be in here. Oh, I like that February. Little typewriter, little birds. Lots of labels. Flowers. Oh, look at that little bird cage. I love the pens. And then you have the small ones of these. I'm just going to show them to you and put them off to the side. More labels, more little birdies. Hopefully you can see this well enough with me zoomed in. And then a couple of typewriters. So that was what was in one of the sticker packs. I'll move that off to the side so I can put it in the pocket. And then this is the other sticker pack. So this is the one that comes in the main planner kit. I can tell because it has the big tabs. So you're always going to get your big tabs in this one. So let me get them out. Oh, there is one with the print on it. There. 
there's the big tabs and then more pens lots and lots of pens all different shapes and sizes and colors and types and birds that's why I'm just gonna lay them out for you I love this one right here it's got a little cute pattern on it oh that one's got ink flowers birds 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 this is one of her favorites she really likes the birds and typewriters oh little mailbox I like that that's cute that one that one that one and that one so there is everything in the Coco Daisy um, subscription for the month of February and I will be back again with more in just a minute so for the last thing that I have for you for the month of January is I've got my husband and chub girl this is a subscription and my Avalon and Ninth subscription so I'm just gonna go through these really quick and then that will be the end of the January haul. So how stinking cute is this? Oh my gosh, I'm not even, I haven't even flipped it over yet and I'm absolutely in love, but let's look at this side. So this one's called Starry Night and I do the journaling. Oh, how cute, what are these? I do the journaling bundle from Hubman and Chub Girl, but they also have their little tiny like washi ones. I don't want to open it because I'll probably lose them, but there's some little tiny washi ones in there. How cute are those? Um, <clears throat> They also have like, uh, you know, standard vertical or whatever subscription. So if, if journaling's not your thing and planners are, they have all that. So how cute is this? Starry night. I think, I think Chub Girl's got baby on the brain. <laughs> how cute. Oh, that's me every day when I get home from work. And then this is the journaling card, the little thing on the back. And then for the smaller ones, you have two vinyl stickers, so these two right here. It is, I just went outside and got the mail, and oh my gosh, this is so cold. You just have no idea how cold this is. <laughs> like, my hands are freezing just touching it because it was sitting in the mailbox. It is so cold. So here's all the smaller ones. Just hang in. Time for bed. This one Brandy would like. Brandy, you need this. More time, good night. Yeah, she definitely needs this little bundle here. These are so cute, a little nappy one. And then that, and then for the month of March, here's your, your March. Like I said, this is for a journal. So there's a couple of things with like days of the week so that you can do a weekly spread if you want. There's a couple of things of numbers for a monthly and a weekly. And then this is like one of my favorite sheets. I love all these. And I'm collecting a whole bunch of them in different colors so that I can use them. Because they come in whatever colorway of the kit for that month. So I'm collecting them and I use them throughout all of my spreads. So there is the Hubman and Chub Girl. I have another order with them, but it's not going to come in before uh, before I, I, I just need to get this video up. So uh, it'll be in the February haul. But I did order uh, one of the new bundles that came out. I think it was the Valentine's Day one I ordered. I missed the Harry Potter one because I'm an idiot. And I didn't realize that it wasn't going to be there forever. That it was like a limited release. I can't find my scissors. So I'll struggle here for a second. Um, so I totally missed the Harry Potter one. Which makes me very sad. And I hope she brings it back. Because I'm sure it was very popular. People love, love, love all the Harry Potter stuff. And I'm sure she'll bring it back someday. But no, I'm not going anywhere. So it's okay. All right, so here is my uh, subscription. So I just changed a, one little thing on my subscription because I haven't really been using the full regular um, functionals. So I did cut it down to the mini functional, but other than that, I haven't changed anything. And then here's the washi. And I know she had mentioned something in a, a video or a post, I don't remember where I saw it recently, where some of the washi is missing, so she's waiting for it to get to her. So I know that there's another washi that goes with this, but it'll get sent later on. And these, oh my gosh, I love this. These have little gold coffee cups. You see that? Look at how stinky cute. So this is really pretty purple with the gold coffee cups throughout. I'm not going to roll it out, but it's super cute. I love that. I love the colorway right here. This is fantastic. And then I love book stuff. Just, I just do, I just do. And this is book and coffee themed, so it's like two of my favorite things rolled into one kit, and I love it. So, where is it? There it is. So there's a B6 washi, if you have a B6. If not, you can use it for whatever. Then you got numbers and squiggles. And then here is the kit. So page one, the nine full boxes. Oh my gosh, so pretty. If you, uh, 
I was going to say, if you haven't, <laughs> if you wanted it to be a surprise and you haven't gotten yours yet, I'm sorry, I didn't give you a warning. But I feel like by the time I actually get this video up, everybody will have gotten theirs. But look at the donuts and coffee and croissants. And this is just super cute. I love this. We have one of these um, downtown Coeur d'Alene. There's a bookstore that's like a coffee shop and like an old timey bookstore with tables and stuff. It's really, really cute. And then your washi, love it. And then your days and your glitter. My hands are so cold, I can't even get through these. And then I don't know what to call these pages anymore, but you know, the grid boxes, <laughs> more grid boxes. She changed up her format, which is fantastic. I love it, but I don't know what to call each page. I used to have like this is this and this is this, and I don't have the I don't have the flow anymore, but I'll get it back. My favorite. I think this is everybody's favorite page. And then you've got the rounded pattern boxes, and then you have a whole nother set whole nother set. I don't know how she does this. Like I, I barely, <laughs> like you have to give me a lot for me to get through two full things with one set of um, artwork, but she does a really good job of laying this all out. And I love, love, love it. So you can do two set, two whole kits here. Check boxes, a whole nother thing of washi and your strips, your dividers. Super, super cute. I love this. So I'm going to put this off to the side and go through the, so I get the functional and the journaling because I've been doing a lot of journaling lately and I wanted to incorporate more colors into my journal. So mainly what I pick these up for is because they go with a lot of, a lot of different kits. So if I have a kit that has like purples and peaches in it, I can grab this if I have a kit, you know what I mean? So that's why I have them. And I did cut this one down, like I said, to the smaller version because I have a lot of this and I don't use it enough to need all, all these pages every single month. But um, yeah, so this, this one, look at how stinking pretty this color palette is. It's absolutely gorgeous. Love these guys, two pages of these guys. I'm just gonna go through it. See, there's a lot here, like so much that, you know, this lasts me a lifetime. I can't possibly use this much functionals in, you know, in a lifetime, but it's nice to have them. And so you know, I like that these don't have anything on them. And so um, I'm still getting the functional, just not as many pages. And then the journaling functional. So no artwork on these, it's all colors, but this goes really well with like I said, just adding in, if you just have a bunch of big stickers, you know, just a sticker pack, which we started carrying sticker packs now, you can just add a sticker pack to one of the functionals, that colorway that matches and you're set. So this one has, I think five pages. There's a lot here. Oh, I love that page. And then you get another one of these with the check boxes. So there is, the journaling functional, the functional functional, and the monthly. This is the February monthly mystery. So anyway, thanks guys so much. I hope you guys love this haul. If you do like hauls or play with me's or whatever, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff so that I can get my videos out there for more people to see. And I hope you guys have a fantastic week and I will see you again on the next one. Bye.